Kan, shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim Kakadash. The Ba'on the study of apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to the hopeful elect is pushing this truth in sincerity. So, there's going to be another Chanta Samadays Breakdowns, episode 60 68. We're going to jump into Psalms 134. Greetings of night watches. It reads Behold, bless ye the Lord Jehovah, all ye servants of the Lord which by night stand in the house of the Lord. You know, and there's a, there are different type of offices as in, as in ministering, serving the Lord. When you go to the, to the Levites, it's in the book of uh, Chronicles, 1 Chronicles 9 and 33. And these are the singers, chief of the fathers of the Levites who remaining in the chambers were free. For they were employed in that work day and night so you had you had service being done unto the most high which existed out of day and night continually uh, being occupied in, in in serving the most high you know these chief fathers of the levites were chief throughout their generations these dwelt in jerusalem you know and you know that the levites were responsible for the for the sacrificial service and the same thing is what we do today. You know, everything that we what we do for Yahweh Bashim Yashai is is a sacrifice. It's we would become a nation of king kings and priests, right? The book of Revelation chapter one verse six. And it made us kings and priests unto the most high, and his father. To him be glory and domin dominion forever and ever. Amen. So we 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 are right now a nation of kings and priests. You know the things that we do right now is is also to be looked upon as as a priestly sacrifice unto the most high and now we're not occupied continually day and night you see brothers all over the globe pushing the word day and night they keep pushing it you know because those are those watchmen when the bible speaks about a watcher a watcher was actually a person that was also um uh, on the watchtower looking whether the enemy would besiege them that's that's a very important um, a profession or occupation to exercise for the most high because you actually like what the scriptures say um, Paul said it in the book of Acts you know you're, you're overseer you overlook and you have to protect the sheep from the wolf coming in when you see that the wolf is coming in you blow you blow the trumpet you know you're not going to be a hireling who only thinks about themself you know who's going to tell you things like you can trust Esau you can take the things that Esau is offering you so called to help you while you're dealing with the devil the destroyer so when you see when you see those who proclaim that they are servants unto the most high teaching you and instructing you that you can trust the oppressor the devil you should already uh, take in mind that this person most likely sold out and made an agreement a covenant with the oppressor in, in order to lead you towards towards the destroyer so the book of acts chapter 20 verse 28 take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the holy spirit had made you overseers that's what the lord did when he when he actually called us into this ministry you know he he opened our eyes he gave us this the 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 wisdom knowledge and understanding by guiding us to the to the to the well-appointed teachers you got groomed and you got established in the prophet like how jeremiah was ordained to be a prophet the lord the lord already ordained us to be here you know but being here goes hand in hand with the responsibility you 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 are made an overseer to feed the church of the most high which he had purchased with his own blood she had the blood of the redeemer so when you go into the meaning of the word overseer Strong's G, 1985, Episcopus, Episcopus. An overseer, a man charged with the duty of seeing the things to be done by others are done rightly, a curator, a guardian, a superintendent, a superintendent, elder or overseer of a Christian church. That is what we have received of the Most High. You know, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is actually the... How you have that scripture was it in mark mark 13 i believe it is in mark 13. 
Hmm. I thought it was Mark 13. 34. For the Son of Man. That's Yahweh Shai. It's as a man taking a, taking a journey who left his house, which is the tabernacle of the house of David. You know, this house, we were appointed to take care of this house and building it and, and doing it according to the spirit of the Most High and gave authority to his servants, that's towards us, and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch, you see? So you gotta, you gotta have a watch over all things that is taking place. Who's adding, who's getting in, who's doing what, and to correct and to straighten the things that need to be straightened. That's our purpose right now upon this earth. You know? That's a key thing. So, the book of Isaiah, chapter 62, verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. You see? So, now we, on this spiritual watchtower, on these walls, and how do we declare the word of the Most? How do we give our brothers and sisters warnings by the way of these videos, by the way of going on the streets, doing the street preaching, you know, by, by holy conversation amongst each other, when people ask you certain questions or, or whatever way or whatever moment you can, you can declare the word and edify brothers and sisters, you know? The thing that we're doing is we, we're preparing them for the battle that will take place on this globe. You see, so there's a, there's importance in how you sound the trumpet, how you how you declare the word, what it is that you declare. Prime example, with the thing that lately took place with the Ron Dalton Jr. This man knows that he is an Israelite, but he is denying he is denying the existence of the chariots, the UFOs, so called the spaceships, and that we will not be saved by these chariots. That is taking away from the script that makes him a false prophet. So it is our duty to open up our mouth and to let our people know there are chariots, there are spaceships and the angels are inside of them. And we will be saved according to the Bible by these chariots, man. It says and give him no rest till he establish him, till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. So we keep doing this until the Lord comes back, until, until we get saved, you know. There's no, there's no, no, no break in what we do for the Heavenly Father. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 6. Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you, except I speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge or by prophesying or by doctrine? You know, because it is we, we, we declare the word in all type of languages. You know, but we have to do everything in the spirit of the Most High. You know, you got you got even people like I believe it was last last Saturday. This this I believe she was in a rebellious, a rebellious uh, Kushite. She might as well be an Israelite from Kush, but she was very rebellious. And then she asked me, "Do you also know how to speak in tongues?" And I told her, "Like, what do you mean that that demonic speech? That's not according to the scripture. That's not what it means when it says speaking in tongues." You know, speaking with tongues simply means in, in different languages. It says, and even things without life giving sound, whether pipe or harp, except they give a distinction in the sounds. How shall it be known what, what is pipe or harp? You see, so everything everything that we do needs to be done in the right way. What is the scripture in, uh, what is it, Matthew 11? I believe it is 11 in around, around 19. Uh, we have piped. What is it? Nineteen and eleven. Eleven and seventeen. It says, Matthew eleven and sixteen. But when too shall I like in this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows. And saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. Every time when we declare the word of Yahweh by Shimei, we confront our people with 
the dreadfulness that has been done onto our people and that is still taking place towards our people. But we're also telling them about the, the glories, the blessings, the joyful mercy and, and the power which the Heavenly Father is actually extending towards us, which should, which should lift you up, you know, which should, which should quicken you and cause you to be rejoiced. But our people, many of our people are simply not moved by the words out of the scriptures, out of, out of, by the, the holy words of the Most High. Because they have completely conditionized by the ways of, of this world, man. So they don't hear the words of the Most High, they only hear the words of, the, of, of, um, of this world. You see, the book of uh, 1 John chapter 4, let me read it from the top. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit whether they are of the most high. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. A prime example that Von Dalton. You know, one one may know that he is an Israelite, but are you on a level of understanding what it means to be an Israelite? This truth is not only knowing you're an Israelite and then then saying to everybody you're an Israelite. It goes way further than that. There's history involved. You know, the, the Holy Spirit needs to deal with you. And there's guidance. Guidance is a key thing in this ministry. You can ask the person, the man, who guided him, who schooled him, who, who was his teacher. And by that you can discern whether a person had received righteous guidance or wrongful guidance. Most of them, most of them don't want guidance. They say things like, yeah, I just go into the Bible myself. The Heavenly Father is revealing and opening up unto myself. Many times you will find out that those men are straight up bugged out. They fabricate things, they make up things which suits them. And then they teach people these things. If the blind lead the blind, they should both fall into a ditch. A very, it's a very dangerous thing what people are doing, but they don't even seem to understand the destruction that they bring upon themselves and upon those that believe them. It says, Hereby ye know the spirit of the Most High. Every spirit that confesses that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is come in the flesh is of the Most High. You know, and it even goes further because many people have the Antichrist spirit inside of them, man. You know, if you if you cannot acknowledge that the Redeemer is an Hebrew Israelite from the from the tribe of Judah, and that he has white woolly hair, red eyes, and a dark skin, according to the Bible in Revelation chapter 1, verse 13 till down, then you have no part in the Lord. You know, if if you cannot accept who the Redeemer is and what he truly did for, for his people, you simply don't have no part in the Lord. And that shows you that this whole this whole empire is an, is an antichrist system. And many people that even say that they believe and follow or, or, or get cleansed by the blood of the one who they call Jesus, they also have the same spirit of the antichrist because they don't believe and accept the Redeemer according to how he is mentioned um, and declared according to the script. And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai has come in the flesh is not of the Most High. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world, yeah? because the Antichrist rulers rule upon this earth and they guide people into that same Antichrist mindset. Ye are of the children, ye are of the Most High, little children, which is talking about us, the children of Israel, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you, than he that is in the world, because the Lord, the Lord already conquered this wicked empire, man. You know, and it's our duty now to to conquer this wicked empire through the spirit, the experience, the knowledge of the Redeemer, and the experience of the prophets, the apostles before us, man. You know, our leaders, our teachers share the experience. They exhort, they exhort, they they warn you. You know, they rebuke if there's need for rebuke. All all of that, what has been done. You know, some others may say it's called tough love. Sometimes, sometimes it's needful to be rebuked or to be sternly corrected concerning things that has been uh, done on this earth when it is done in the wrong way. It says, we are of the Most High. He that knoweth the Most High heareth us. Oh no, verse 4, verse 5, Salah. They are of the world. These people are of the world. They are not in, they are not in Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Therefore speak they of the world and the world heareth them. You see, so when they when they mention things like Jesus and God is God is love, you know, when when people make statements like that, that's not that's not biblical. 
God is love. God is only love. God, you can have people making statements. God loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. That's not, that's not biblical. These, these are all fabricated by men who portray and make, and make the Heavenly Father seem as if he is only love and there will be no judgment, no, no punishment. As if the Heavenly Father is not fed up with the things that has taken place on this globe. You know, as if the Most High has no enemies. It says, we are of the Most High. He that knoweth the Heavenly Father heareth us. He that is not of the Most High heareth not us. Hereby we know the Spirit of Truth. Oh, salah. It says, hereby we know the Spirit of Truth and the Spirit of Error. Yeah, the Spirit of Truth is the Holy Spirit, the Spirit from above. And the Spirit of Error is the Spirit from the left hand side. Which is causing a lot of men to err greatly in not knowing the script and saying things which is not in line with the Bible, you know. And that is that is that is an example of for if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, that is an uncertain sound of blowing the trumpet. When you tell people that you need to flee from Babylon, literally, you know, not little, not not spiritually, flee because that's what it means when you when it says flee, flee out of Babylon. It means spiritually detach yourself from all the traditions and from all the the philosophy, from all the the the, the instructions and way of being. But it's not talking about literally fleeing out of Babylon, thinking that you can escape the oppression, you can escape the curses, or you can escape the trials of the bowels of the devil. Because this is a global a global control. The earth is giving into the hand of the wicked. You know, there's there's a Babylonian. Uh, control or, or uh, uh, deception taking place that is all over the globe. So when you when we move towards the mark of the beast, the micro, the chip in, the moment when it will be made mandatory, it doesn't matter if you are in America or you're here in Europe or you're in South America or you're in the continent of Africa. You know, this will be this will be a vibe that will be pushed all over the globe, and everybody will be tried and everybody will be tested. It says, for if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to battle? You see, so a false prophet, a false prophet is not going to warn the people about this thing. A false prophet is only talking about prosperity. Are you saved? Have you accepted Jesus in your life? The blood of Jesus has cleansed me from all my sins. I'm already saved. But they're not warning, they're not warning our people about Jacob's trouble. They're not warning you about the great tribulation, the hardship, the difficulty. You know, the present, the fiery trial that is going to rise up. You know, the, the, the fact that some of us might even be thrown into prison or concentration camps. And some of us might be decapitated. You got to be prepared for the war that is going to reach a whole new level of, of, of hardship and difficulty, man. And if you continue to be in the Kumbaya spirit, singing love songs, Sweet Jesus lost you. Oh, happy days and all type of, all type of weak energy. You're not going to be ready for that hardship. You know, you're not going to be ready for facing a situation like the movie The Road. Many people don't understand how, how difficult the finishing of our course truly, truly uh, is appointed to be. So. In the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord had not done it? You see, so because the Lord, the Lord ordains the prophet to go outside and to warn the people about what will happen before he executes it. You know, that's why we go out and we keep telling the people, we keep warning, and we keep stressing out to all the wicked doers of our people, and also towards the evil, the wicked, the wicked, Esau, Edom. What is going to happen with their with them for their pride, arrogance, and for their evil mind upon this earth. It says, And the Lord had not done it. Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord had not done it? Because the Lord controls the good and the bad. <clears throat> the good as well as the bad. The left-hand side and the right-hand side. The right-hand side and the, and the left-hand side. So surely the Lord, Jehovah will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And that's what the Lord does. Does. By the ways of dreams, by the ways of understanding the script, by the ways of breakdowns, by the ways of prophecy, you know, 
the Lord, the Lord opened, he opened up the eyes of the servants and gave the servants complete understanding of what is taking place in this present time and what our people need to do. You know, the, the, the space, the chance of, of repenting, the moment by which you can seek the Lord. And we're stressing out towards the rest of these nations, especially the nation of Edom, what will happen with them for all for all the violence towards the children of Israel. You know, the nation of Edom is going to pay the most, the most grievous way on this earth amongst all these nations, man. So it says in the book of Psalms 134 verse 2, lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. Yeah, man, we lift up our, ha our hands, man. We praise the Heavenly Father, but we also mourn. You know, the morning, the morning is reaching out towards the Heavenly Father and letting the Lord know that we agree. We agree with the judgment and destruction that needs to come upon this earth. We agree with the sickening, the sickening uh, 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 mind that is being propagated towards the people that, that these rulers need to be destroyed and everything and everyone that conforms and, and justifies this wickedness that they need to be dealt with. The book of Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4. You know, you, you, you're restless in this wicked empire, man. And the Lord said unto him, go to the midst of the city, to the midst of Jerusalem, which is talking about the people, the people before the place, and set a mark upon the forehead of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of the world. And that's us sighing and crying, complaining, being vexed in the spirit, longing for the downfall of this wicked empire, longing for righteous governing to be established upon this earth, man. You know, they, they will receive another mark upon the head, the mark which is called Tawah in the scripture, which is a mark of exemption of judgment. This mark is not the same as the mark that is mentioned in the book of Revelation chapter 13 around 15, 16, you know, because that mark is talking about Kharachma, you know, and the Kharachma is actually a, a mark which is actually, uh, we, we, we tell you the mark is the microchip, you know, it's 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 a branding of, in order to in order to receive that mark inside of you you need to be pricked you know you need to be pricked and that microchip needs to be inserted inside of you and anybody that takes that microchip is finished there's no there's no repenting of um there's no repenting of uh, taking that microchip and saying like oh i didn't knew i didn't knew what i had to do you know that's why you have to pray unto the heavenly father rather to die and instead of taking that microchip and that heavenly father will protect you from that trial that test that biggest test that is coming up on this earth man let's get that man it's in the book of revelation chapter three uh the book of revelation chapter three verse 10 because thou hast kept the words of my patience which we do right now in patience and long suffering we we abide in the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And the hour of temptation is the moment when the micro the microchip in will be made mandatory. The situation where everybody needs to take this microchip or they have to face death. It says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So there is no escape, there's no fleeing from this test. There's no running out of America, going into a country in which you might think you, you're safe over there. That's madness. So, you need the mark of exemption. Verse 5, And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him to the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have pity. So, after, after, after the, after the, the man of the Lord, the elect and the great multitude that is, as being accept, exempt from judgment, then the destruction can come down upon all the enemies of the Most High, the enemies of the cross. And that's, that's, those are a lot of people that are appointed to be slaughtered. A lot of people will be appointed to the slaughter. It says, slay, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, you see, so old, young, maids, little children, and women. The Lord, the Lord is not a respecter of persons. Everything is going to get it, man. It says, but come not near any upon whom is the mark, the mark of exemption. 
and begin at my sanctuary. <coughs> then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. So the ones that know that they are Israelites, they are first going to receive the judgment and destruction of the Most High. So know and understand very well what you're doing upon this earth in this present time. This is a song of praise towards Yahweh by Shemesh's favor. Uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1, O Yahweh, thou art my power, I will extol thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things, thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Amen. Yeah, you know, we, we read about the things that the Lord did for our people in the past, you know, and you, you meditate about the counsels that the Lord is giving and gave you in this present time. You know, when you hear about others in certain situations and the way how they, they tackled the situation by the way of the counsel of the Lord, you know, that is a, that is a beautiful thing to see. Is the word, the word of the Heavenly Father is faithful and truth, man. It says, For thou hast made a city in heap, of a defense city a ruin, a palace of strangers to be no city. It shall never be built. Yeah, because if you if you look back, how many enemies we had and how many how many enemies uh, ruled over us, conquered us, destroyed us. But in the end, the Lord, the Lord took them all down. The same way the Lord is going to completely destroy the nation of Edom and the rest of these 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 heathen nations that are joined onto Esau Edom. In licking our licking our wounds, man. For thou hast been a strength to the poor, yeah, to the poor and needy, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat, when the blessed of the terrible ones um, is as a storm against the wall. Yeah, man. What comes up into the mind is do the book of Matthew. You know, we we building, we building on the, that sure foundation, man. The book of Matthew, chapter seven. Here, verse 24, Therefore, whoso heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which builded his house upon a rock, upon Yahweh Shai. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. You see, this is all similar to talking about the hardship, the difficulty, the wiles, the trying, the temptation, you know, the, the evil in order to shake you and to break you didn't cause you to stumble or to fall out of this truth because you you have your foundation built on your Shai. You have a sure, a sure foundation, no matter how much evil and how much trying would take place, you know. But those who are not building on your Shai, they're going to stumble and they're going to fail. It says, Thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers, as the heat in a dry place, even the heat with the shadow of a cloud. The branch of the terrible ones shall be brought low. So we already know what's going to happen with these Esau Edomites, these devils, man. Proud, arrogant creatures that have caused so much destruction upon this earth. The Lord is completely going to destroy them, man. You know? So, finishing off with, uh, with Galatians. Galatians 6, uh, 4 verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above free, which is the mother of us all, and not mother, mother, mama Africa, like how, <laughs> like how they have programmed our people to believe and to think that it's all about Africa, 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 mama Africa, mother Africa. It's about Jerusalem, you know. Our people need to understand that they are the chosen people of the Lord, right now in the lowest state for being disobedient unto the Heavenly Father. And that the Most High is lifting us up, He's quickening, and He's about to redeem us, deliver us out of this, out of this horrible and dreadful, sickening estate. You know, because this is this is not how we, the chosen people of the Most High, are supposed to be be maintaining or surviving upon this earth, man. You know, we we are supposed to be in a ruling estate, walking in the ways of the Most High, and being an example unto all these other people, man. That is how we need to be. You know, so it starts with the returning on to the Most High. Now we wake up, we woke up, more of our brothers and sisters are waking up, and they get groomed, they get groomed into the way how the Lord wants you to be. You know, the kingdom mind is being put up, is put on, you know. And as you as you have that kingdom mind, the kingdom being within you, the Lord, the Lord wants to give us the kingdom, man. Fear not, little flock. The Lord, the Lord wants to give us the kingdom, but we got to go according to His his program, his protocol, 
you know so hey this is what i quickly wanted to bring out all praises to yahweh bashim yashai shalom